Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Sethum and welcome back to another video. Today, folks, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to craft all of the augmented kibbles that have been released with Extinction. So in this video, my friend Mike, who is lying on the floor as he is offline, will be helping me. And as such, I will be doing things to his body without his knowledge and consent. But it is for the best of the community. So if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. And finally, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So the first kibble that we will be looking at will be the basic augmented kibble. And you can craft this in a cooking pot, uh, in which case you will need to top it up with water, as all kibbles do require water. However, for the purposes of this video, I will be using the industrial cooker. For this, you will need the dillo egg, dodo egg, kairuku egg, Tuso egg, micro raptor egg, parasaur egg, tech parasaur egg, and these are the items or the eggs that you will need to craft this kibble. You will also need one uh, cooked meat, one citronelle, five um, fungal wood, five medjo berries, three fiber, and one water to craft one of these kibbles. So, with that being said and done, I have picked up the tech parasaur egg as well as all the items that we need to craft it and we'll put it all in the cooking pot which does automatically have water and there is the kibble okay so next up we will be putting in one of each of the other eggs to show you if it works or not now obviously I am making this video off of the wiki, so I'm going off of the wiki, so maybe some of the information might not be accurate, which is another thing that we will be seeing in this video, which is why I am testing out all of the eggs to see what exactly happens. Alright, so far so good. All of the eggs seem to be turning into basic augmented kibble. And there we have it. So... We have seven augmented kibble from seven eggs. I, I will clean this up and then prepare for the next one. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, now we are going to be doing the extraordinary augmented kibble. So for this, you will need one golden Hesperonis egg or one Titanoboa egg. Now... I will be testing both of them, and the ingredients will be one Hesperonis egg or one Titanoboa egg, one great bee honey, one cooked lamb chop, 50 major berries, 10 fiber, and one water. So we're going to be testing out the Hesperonis egg as well as the Titanoboa egg. So we're going to put in the golden Hesperonis egg. Very important, it has to be the golden Hesperonis egg. going to split up the stacks so uh, we can test them out individually. Now this is used for the taming of the mana armor. There we go. One of these has already been crafted. So I just need one more honey. And we will do the titanoboa egg as well. Uh, I need to put in the honey. Okay. Getting a bit mixed up here. But yeah. We are there. So there you have it. Once again, this particular kibble is the best for taming the mana armor. Alright, we are now on the exceptional augmented kibble. Once again, used for taming the mana armor. Now, of course, this is the second best kibble to use for the mana armor. And the eggs required for this will be either a Bronto egg, a Giga egg, a Quetzal egg, Rex egg, Tech Quetzal egg. Tech Rex Egg, Tech Rex Egg, Therizino Egg, and Uteranus Egg. So any of these eggs will allow you to craft one of these. You will also need the following materials. So you will need two raw prime fish meat, two rare flour, ten major berries, three fiber, 
and 20 element dust and one water alongside the egg. So I'm going to place them all in here, which you can see we already have one exceptional augmented kibble. Now, as I did with the other videos, I'm going to use my to get the elements that I needed. But I cannot store in the fridges and then we will take up all the eggs, all of the other materials and we will test out all of the other eggs to see if it all works as according to the wiki. Okay, I think that should be enough for the moment. We also need some major berries. That is an incredibly important element for the crafting of any kibble. So I'm going to drop all of these in here and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are definitely getting kibbles out of this and they are all of the same quality. So as this crafts up, I will also add some additional information. With the introduction of Extinction, there are a total of six augmented kibbles, of which four can be used for taming the aberration creatures. So this is the kibble right there. And now for the regular augmented kibble, this does have multiple eggs that can be used to craft it, which include the Ankylo eggs, the Baryonyx egg, the Carno egg, Dimetrodon egg, Diplodocus egg, Iguanodon egg, Caprosuchus egg, Kentro egg, Pachyrhino egg, Pelagornus egg, Sarco egg, uh, Pluminoscorpius egg, Stego egg, Tech Stego egg, Terrorbird egg, Trudon egg, and Turtle egg. To craft this, you will need one of these eggs, one cooked prime meat, one raw, or sorry, two raw carrot, two sava root, five major berries, three fiber, and ten blue crystallized sap. Of course, also one water. So these are the items required to craft this particular kibble, and this kibble is used for the taming of the Volanosaur. So I've picked up some of the items and an egg to show you how it works. So there we go, there is the regular augmented kibble and as you've seen this has the widest variety of eggs that can be used for the crafting of this kibble. Uh, okay, right, so now I'm gonna pick up all of the other materials and then test out all of the eggs to see them crafted to kibble. Now, as I said earlier in this video, all of this information that I am showing here is off of the wiki, so if there are any differences, I guess we will see them. Okay, so pick these up. Then I'm going to drop them all into the industrial cooker and wait for the magic to happen. Okay, I can see a difference already. We have a true dawn or a kibble trued on egg. So that one seems to have not worked as the wiki stated. Very interesting that. Very interesting indeed. So I'm going to wait for the other eggs to craft and see what happens. Okay, nearly there. Everything else seems to have worked just fine just as the wiki says so the only one that did not come out the way I intended it or I expected it was the true dawn egg that's good enough at least now we know what the difference is I'll drop these off and prepare for the next kibble and so I'll see you folks in a little while alright so next up is the simple augmented kibble and for this you will need any of the following eggs Archaeopteryx egg, Compi egg, Dimetrodon egg, Gallimimus egg, Hesperonus egg, so this is the normal egg, Ichthyornis egg, Moth egg, Oviraptor egg, Pegomastix egg, Pteranodon egg, Raptor egg, Tech Raptor egg, and Trike egg. Also, to craft this, you will need, of course, one egg, one cooked meat jerky, one long grass, five corrupted node, one, uh, sorry, five major berries, three fiber and one water. So I will quickly pick up the 
required materials for crafting one of these kibbles. Again, I'm using my good friend Mike, who is unfortunately not awake and so therefore does not know that I'm using his body as a storage compartment. <laughs> okay, so let's pick one of these eggs. I'll take this one. So we'll go for the tech raptor egg. And drop all the stuff in the cooking pot and see the magic happen. There we go. That is how you get the simple augmented kibble. Obviously, just as with the others, I will be testing out all of the eggs to see what happens. I do have plenty of materials to craft all of them, so we'll be picking up all of these corrupted nodes. I think that should be enough in terms of the corrupted nodes. I'll get a few more just to be on the safe side. I'm going to pick up all of these materials from here and then drop them off into the industrial cooker to see what happens. I'll just take all the fiber just to be on the safe side. I've not actually counted it all out to figure out how much I need, but whatever's left I can use for the next test. There we go, there is the cooked meat jerky. Okay, dropping it all off in here, and let's see what will happen. Alright, so two of the eggs, which you can see here on the screen, did not make it into the simple augmented kibble. So far, so good. Uh, I can see that the moth egg has remained a moth egg, so that's not made it into the kibble either gonna wait a couple of extra seconds to see if anything happened I mean it should have happened by now if anything we also did get some soap from that but yes as you can see the moth egg did not make it into the kibble these are the other kibbles that we got I'm gonna transfer them into my inventory and then at the end I will show you all the kibbles that we got so you guys can see exactly what happened and finally we have the superior augmented kibble now, the eggs required for this is the Allosaurus egg, Argentavis egg, Megalania egg, Megalosaurus egg, Moss Traps egg, Spino egg, or Tapajaro egg, or, or actually it's pronounced Tapahara. To craft this, you will need one of these eggs, one prime meat jerky, one rare mushrooms, ten major berries, three fiber, ten red crystallized sap, and one water. So, I've got part of these materials in my inventory. Gonna take an egg and the major berries and we will test out to see if this is true. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go. There is the superior augmented kibble. Now this kibble is used for the taming of the snow owl as well as the gas bags. Once again I am using my good friend Mike. Thank you for your help. I will pick up all of the other materials, then drop them off into the industrial cooker and see what happens here, as we have had some differences compared to what the wiki says. Obviously very important here, must have the major berries. Nothing happens without these. Okay, things are crafting up by the looks of things. All of the eggs have gone into the superior augmented kibble. So that seems to work as intended. Okay, so with all of this said and done, I'm going to pick up all of the stuff. And then I am going to be looking at all of the kibbles that we got so far from this. Now I want to... Where, where did I put them? There we go. I'm going to drop off all of the kibbles. These are all of the kibbles that we got. Obviously, three of the kibbles were not intended uh, or were intended for these augmented kibbles, but came out completely different. I've also gone through the trouble of putting them in order of their quality. And so these are the six kibbles that have come out with extinction, which are usable of which four of these are of course used to tame creatures on extinction.
So, that is it from me today, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video and found the information in it useful. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are doing that already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.